Just think, I made 11 damn albums, yeah. No pain, I've been unscathed from battling. All gas, propane, my name will always last. I can only end my own career, so it's a wrap. Listen, kids, tell them. Yo, I think I remember that Adam Calhoun said that he was going to end his career. Uh, but, like, yo, this is a good way to uh, kind of, like, end it, if he ended it. But if I know one thing, and I do know, it's hard to stay away from music when music is inside of you. Whether you like listening to it or whether you just like participating in it, whether you make your own music or not. I think that this is really not going to be the last time you hear from Adam Calhoun on a song. He might even feature on other people's music or something like that. But leaving music completely behind? I don't think so. But I like the name of the song. It's called Amen. The beat sounds really nice. So far, the, the visuals look good. So I'm going to rewind 10 seconds. We're going to jump back into it. But like he said, he's the only one who can end his career. My name will always last. I can only end my own career. Yeah. So it's a rap. Listen, kids, tell them suck your dick or kiss your ass. Don't ever <laughs> sign shit and take a record. They will advance. Been wrecking shit I own. Every record that I made. All the labor I've invested, I will forever be paid. But, but. Straight up. Like, look. It must be anybody's goal to do whatever it is that you're doing. But to get to this point where you're good. You're straight up, like, straight from here on out. And it appears that Adam Calhoun has gotten to that point, especially he already has a large fan base. A lot of people, he he makes videos that have nothing to do with music on his YouTube channel. So the money's going to be there. The, 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 the reputation precedes him. So, like, he ain't speaking nothing but facts right now, which I'm completely 100% behind. But I vibe with him. That I made all the labor I've invested, I will forever be paid. But, but always in debt to my fans, still the burden that I carry. Been heavy like an anvil. All the dudes I buried brought careers to a stand, still a giant in this game. Who a pebble on an anthill. All right, so shout out to the fans. Like, one thing that I really appreciate, um, and a lot of artists do this, certain artists do it differently. And there's this level of. Uh, appreciation for your fans that you get with the independent artists, the people who kind of rose up, did their own thing, made their own music, did it their own way. I, I really feel like I get more of a sense of like celebration of their fans that I don't get from like the major artists who got record deals. Not saying that they don't give recognition to their fans, but it's a, it's a different, different level of recognition, especially when you see a lot of times in their, in their videos and things like that, they'll actually show like, them hanging out with fans like one, two, three, four people that you can clearly see their faces, not just the crowd. Sometimes you get the crowd, but it, 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 it adds a level of attractiveness to these artists when you know that you've met them personally. And not only could you meet them, but you could one day end up in their song at that exact moment of them giving you appreciation. Rebrought careers to a stand, still a giant in this game. Who are on an anthill. Ah. I've been able to do something in my career that's very special that a lot of people have failed at. I've done a lot of good business and not fucked anybody over. Now, look, you, you got the big names. You got Up Church. You got my boy Jelly Roll. You got my boy, uh, what's his name? Uh, ah. His name is escaping me right now, so don't be angry at me right now. But um, uh, you got you got you got the crew right there. But I like this little effect that they're putting on the actual video, where it looks like you're going way back, and you kind of got like the the tape vibe, like back in the day when you had tapes, and it would kind of like have scratches on it and stuff like that. That's exactly the vibe that I'm getting from this. But um, uh, yeah, let's get it. A lot of people have failed at. I've done a lot of good business and not fucked anybody over. I've been loyal. Right I've been a good friend. That's why I don't care what people say about me if they don't know me. Look what I was able to do. Look what we were able to do. We brought all these people together. All these. And by the way, struggle Jennings. Struggle Jennings. But look, look at that. Like, this is smart. It is not just smart. I, th I really do believe that Adam Calhoun believes this, but like, he didn't just take all of the credit for himself. He roped in everybody who's been a part of this journey, at least that I see so far. And I think this is a this this is dope. Look what we were able to do. We brought all these people together, all these great artists that you love on one project together. I'm trying to help this genre grow. Who else is doing that? Let it rain. 40 nights, 40 days. Got so far ahead, I took myself out the game. Mental health, mental <laughs> hell, all the shit people take. Nice to my face, they could say far away. Let me pray. 
Dear God, may every fake motherfucker that I help live to see the day where they gotta see me face to face. I like Adam Calhoun, bro. Like, I feel like Adam Calhoun got that level of gangster in him to where it's like, I'm a nice guy. I'm cool. I'm reserved. Like, I'm doing my thing. But at the same time, a lot of y'all ain't messing with me. A lot of y'all don't want to see me face to face. But he'll say it in a way that's like right conjoined with like all of the appreciation, all of the love, and all of the like accomplishments. But at the same time, like I'm not forgetting the fact that through this whole period, there's been people who's like you know been hating on him. Big motherfucker that I help live to see the day where they gotta see me face to face. Make them stand on the shit they say. Amen. My enemy should thank my daughter. She gave him light. Cause I'd rather be a father than do life more alive. <laughs> Said I'd rather be a father than do life. Oh man. His enemies should thank his daughter. If it wasn't for his love of his daughter, keeping him focused, allowing him to be a better man. A lot of the other things that was going on could have went sideways. So what y'all don't understand is his daughter saved y'all life in a way. That's that's how he explaining it, right? And then he says, uh, you know, amen, right? And I, when I came into the song, I didn't think that the amen was going to be necessarily put this way. I, I came in with the mentality of like, okay, so this is going to be more of like a praise God. Like, I'm, I'm going to give all of my appreciation to God at this moment. And I really didn't even know if this was going to be a last song or not, but I, I'm vibing with it, you know? Daughter, she gave him light because I'd rather be a father. And do life more alive than I've ever been. Fly like I'm heaven sent. Fuck the other side. I hope they die. They irrelevant. To all the young guys that are out there listening to this right now, trying to come up and get into this game, this rap shit, just know it's a motherfucker. And eight out of the ten people that you meet are going to be pieces of shit, snakes. They're going to want to take from you. Last verse. Hello. Before we get into the last verse, I just want to point something out, right? Like, when it comes to the rap game, like there's levels, right? And I wouldn't even say levels. There's like a difference between independent artists and artists that are signed. And then you got the underground artists who are trying to break through, trying to get in whatever lane they possibly can. Some prefer to stay independent. Some will take that deal. But like in hip hop, and it's very prevalent in the culture, there's a level of competition there. And oftentimes people will hate on you or be jealous of you because you're getting some kind of success that they're not or you're more talented than they are. And a lot of times these people will use you, they'll smile on your face, pretend to be your friend, but given the first opportunity, they're willing to sell you short or willing to go behind your back and do something that may not honor you or whatever the case may be. And I think that's what Adam Calhoun is speaking on on this. And you know, you got to respect that. You got to feel them. Be pieces of shit, snakes, they're going to want to take from you. Mm -hmm. Last verse. Last verse. Please don't shut the curtains. Make the haters look at me. I piss them off on purpose. I ain't quitting working. I'm just sick of fucking rapping. Rather put my head in the bag and suffocate on the plastic. I miss old dirty bastard. Cameron and Biggie. Eminem's a pussy. I'd rather listen to 50. Ooh, I didn't see that coming. But, you know, he gave some shout outs to the OGs. Some of the fellas back in the Diz A, you know what I'm saying, who was representing. And I did not expect him to send shots at Eminem like that. I really didn't. Uh, but he jammed with 50, I guess. But I'm interested. Y'all let me know what's going on with that. Do y'all know something that I don't know? Is, is there a situation with Adam Calhoun and Eminem? Is it maybe words or do Eminem know who Adam Calhoun is? Like, what, is, there, is there a history or is it just like, hey, he don't like Eminem's rap style or his songs? Or, like, let me know because I like when y'all put me in a loop. Hold on. Rewind that 10 seconds. Let's get it. Cameron and Biggie, Eminem's a pussy. I'd rather listen to 50. Fuck Haystack. I tried to give that guy a chance. I fought his fight in the street like a man. Yeah. Ooh. Boy, they showing footage of real fighting. Yo, there's something going on here. There's something going on here. Y'all gonna be looking at me like I'm crazy. Like, hey, what exactly? Like, you don't know about this? Yeah, I don't know about this. You know why? Because I feel like I have an obligation as a reactor to not let my personal feelings get in the way of judging the actual song and music video. And I don't want to treat any song differently based on 
my history of knowing what this person went through and what that person went through. That's kind of like I try not to follow too closely what's going on because it can make you biased. It can make you dislike a certain person's song because you know, like one of your favorite artists or something like that, dislike them. If that makes sense. Eminem's a pussy. I'd rather listen Had to, to go back, back. Fuck Haystack. I tried to give that guy a chance. I fought his fight in the street like a man. Yeah. Oh. I pray to God we meet again. I'm a real crazy white boy and we ain't friends. I'm a rapper <laughs> up like this without the fans. I ain't shit. You changed my life forever with this dream that I live. Ooh. Shout out to the fans. I'm doing a lot of talking on this one, but what'd you expect? Like, this my boy, Adam. And I feel like he going out strong. And that beat is killer. This is the last rap album that I will ever release. Okay, last rap album. You guys album. changed my life forever. I love y'all. I just don't love this shit no more. Ooh. You know, I hear a lot of artists say that they in this rap game forever. But Adam Calhoun said he don't love the rap game no more. And I respect that. I used to do music and I used to make songs. I got my mixtapes on my channel. If y'all ain't heard them yet, go check them out. But on my last mixtape, I said at the end, I got a song called F Rap. And I was basically putting out the reasons why I couldn't stand rap no more. And not necessarily the art, not the songs, but the industry itself. So like, definitely go check it out. And it's personal for me because like, I have this whole connection with it through like the black community. And it's a whole different type of uh, problem that's going on with hip hop and the black community that I felt like I needed to speak on. So I feel him maybe for different reasons. And he definitely probably got different reasons than I do. But let's get it. Forever, I love y'all. I just don't love this shit no more. Mm. I'll see you out on the road. Got the fan holding up the phones. Hey, Adam. Hey, man. Yo. This is not the end of my story. Just the end of a chapter. God willing. I'm going to go do biggest, better music and raise my family. Woo! I'm sorry if I screamed at y'all. Y'all know how it is, though. Yo. I respect that. You got to respect Adam uh, Calhoun. Like, I think that was dope. The beat was nice. You know, I'm going to give a little ranking, right? Uh... I'm going to give a ranking. I've been talking, 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 but I, I want to give y'all more commentary on the songs that I'm listening to if I'm feeling the song like that on that level so that y'all can vibe with me. When it came to the beat, though, I like that beat. The beat was cold. It just rolled, and it had a level of, like, calmness to it. It was like I can bob my head and jam to it. I'm not going to listen to it in the club, but I banged that thing in the car. I felt like I felt that beat was doing that for me. I'm going to give that beat right there a 12 out of 10. Broke the scale for me on the beat. When it came to the bars, the bars, there was a lot of subject matter here. There was a lot of really speaking on his history with hip hop, talking about the different artists that he participated in the game with, who was there for him and who he was there for. A lot of the controversies that he had to go through, sending shots at certain enemies. So there was a lot of lyrical content there. I think he did a good job delivering it. Classic Adam, uh, Adam Calhoun. And I think that I'm going to really give these bars, because I think they were uh, not only a representation of his love for the fans, his love for the music and the sound, but also a level of genuineness. Like, he was being real, and he had to talk about something that hopefully y'all will understand, which I perfectly understood. I'm going to give the bars on this one a 15 out of 10. I think it really broke the scale for me on this one. So kudos to you, Adam. Kudos to you. When it came to the visuals, I dig the visuals a lot, because... Not only did he take that effect and put it on there as if like these clips are like super old, it kind of gave you that 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 nostalgia feeling watching it, even if you didn't see it already. He showed some clips of him fighting in there or whatever the case may be. So you got like different scenery in there. And I really appreciated that. And I thought it went well given the content of what the song was about. So overall, I think I'm gonna give the visuals on this one. A 10 out of 10, I think it was perfect score for me. Overall ranking for this, I think I got to give this one a 13 out of 10. Broke the scale for me. Y'all let me know if y'all agree in the comment section, but y'all know what it is. Love and respect. If you agree, let me know. If you disagree, do it respectfully. With that being said, thank y'all so much for watching. Peace and glory, everybody. Be peaceful and be great. Till next time, I'm out. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, subscribe for more. If you would like to get access to exclusive content, consider becoming a member or a patron at patreon.com slash the Hobby Lobby. 
You can also continue the conversation by joining the Hobby Lobby Discord. You can find all the links in the description below.